What's happening everyone, it's DV and we are back in Roblox Bedwars now. So this is kind of a weird update video for me because typically speaking I can fit everything in one single video for you, but there's like two completely big updates as part of this video so I kind of need to split them out. First things first, we got a new limited bundle. Everyone's asking me, DV, is this worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Well, during my live stream, I tried this kit out. It was okay. It was a little weird. I had to kind of get used to it. I kept dying because I kept teleporting into the void. However, now that I've played with her a little bit more, I get what's going on. Uh, this thing is one of the most broken kits in the game. It's just broken. If you thought Ember was crazy, if you thought Aerie was crazy, this is the number one kit currently in the game. You could pretty much team wipe on 30 v 30s, like legit. I'll leave it. I don't want to steal any thunder from his video, but someone is making a really funny video about it. In fact, there's a couple people making videos about this kit. And so I'm not going to steal their thunder. I'll let them do that. But this is a crazy, crazy kit. I will be showing you this kit after and I'm saying after they nerf it because this kit will get nerfed. Um, the other big half of this update is really all about creative mode. That's what this video is really about because as you've noticed, I've been doing a lot of build videos. I've been having so much fun doing them. And I have to say this is like the highlight of my day. Like this is something I love, love, love doing in this game. I love making the maps. I love making cool and like mini games and such for you. So this is really exciting for me because the devs did add this update. Maybe let's go, let's go to Sniper Towers. And by the way, I'm gonna combo this. So this is the new kit. She is crazy, okay? I'm not gonna really show you too much of her in this video, but expect a separate video on it. So, okay, so as part of this update, we do have a bunch of stuff in creative mode. So they actually released something huge for us map makers. If you go over to the host panel, click on map, you're gonna notice if you go see there's an update button. So if I wanna make changes to this map, which I'm going to do, you can hit update. The main thing we want to do in this map is we want to add some generators. We want to add some shops and such. Um, we also want to update the spawn points for these. Um, the downside is I spent about 30 minutes explaining all this to you and I saved it and none of it saves. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's go and jump in here, start match. So there's a bunch of things you could do now. So I'm going to go high level for you at first. So one thing you could do is you can set generators. So like I can go and like move these generators. I can create new ones. I can also create generators for items and I'm saying items. So if you want to do like a sniper map and generate bows and crossbows or balloons or teleporals, you could do that. You could do that. No more having to spawn anything for people anymore. No more. Um, the other thing you could do is you can move these or remove them completely. If you don't want people having any kind of item shops, you can remove them. We don't need any items in our game. So we're going to actually remove all of these. Um, the downside is you can see they have a light source around them. So we are going to lose the light source. Same with the generator. The generator does have a light source. We're going to get, we're going to lose that. Sadly, we're going to lose that. So we're going to, I'm going to show you those things real quick. It's actually really cool. The other thing you do is it's insane, but you can, um, now browse every item in the game through your, uh, new creative mode. So what you have to do to get in creative mode, cause this is PVP mode right now, you have to type in slash GM and then one, basically GM one, if you hit E again, now you got this new creative inventory. Check this out. All new creative inventory. You can see every single block that's currently in the game. This will help your creative um, process quite a bit. You can click on blocks, look at that, and you can sort by, I mean, the, the devs really outdid themselves on this. This is insane. Um, so if you're like trying to look for like the perfect wood color or purple blocks and all the different purple blocks, you can do that. Um, the other thing you could do is you can now undo your stuff. So say like, I, I remember the other day I was doing that build and I really messed up. I had a, actually had it happen a couple times on my builds and it really drove me insane. So if I do something crazy like this, so if I go like do set, uh, so it's POS one, by the way, there's a new command. It's shorter now. You don't have to type on all that stuff. It's just double slash. So do double slash POS one and we'll do like a double slash POS two over here. Let's do it up here real quick. It's double slash POS two. And then if I go and like, let me get out of the way so I don't get suffocated. If I do like uh, double slash and then set, I can do like bedrock and you can see it's filling in with bedrock now like that. So now I can do slash slash undo and it goes bye bye. Booyah. Look at that. So you don't like screw up anymore. The other thing apparently you can do is cut. I don't know if you could paste yet. Let me see if we can, we can, can we cut and paste? Let me see. So if we go and like want to copy a bunch of blocks, like maybe I want to copy this base. Um, let's see if it works. I don't know if it works. I, I think it'd be a little weird if it did, but maybe it does like that'd be kind of cool if it did. We'll do like POS one and then up here to here. So imagine a, um, a lot of people are confused by this. Imagine this is a, this is a one corner and the other corner, right? And you're drawing a cube. I guess I, a lot of players don't really understand that, but the reason why I do up here and then over there is imagine I'm drawing, like this is the top of the cube. And if I did like POS over here, it would just be like 
it's got to draw like a rectangle here, right? So if I do over here, it's now going to be like right here. The problem is I'm not under it and I can't get under it because I can't break blocks. There's a bug currently in this creative mode that I reported to the devs and you can't like break some of these old blocks. So if I do slash slash cut, I, don't, I think there's like, is there a slash slash copy too? There isn't, but if you do slash slash cut, um, it's set 23 blocks to error. Okay, so it's not a copy and paste. I was, I'm surprised. So that's just a cut out of some blocks. It doesn't look like you can cut blocks though quite yet. It looks like when you reload an existing map, it looks like it all gets hardened. It's kind of weird. Uh, like you can't edit this. So I'm hoping the devs will actually fix that pretty soon. What we're gonna do here is I wanna widen this. The downside is I can't quite do it yet because I can't get rid of blocks. And so I have to think about this very carefully because if I wanna widen stuff or if I wanna make any changes to this map, I have to think about the fact that I can't actually break blocks right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a new little area over here that you can enter. So very similar to this side. And we're gonna go up like this. We'll make the entrance here. And then I have to assume like, eventually we can make adjustments to this. I can't wait to be able to do that. Hopefully the devs will be able to fix some of this issue. Cause I wanna, uh, there's a lot, a lot of other ideas I have for this map, but I can't really do them until the devs let me like destroy stuff. So the reason why I'm doing this is a lot of players are um, not really going upstairs and we want them to be primarily going upstairs, you know? So we'll do this. Um, the other thing that they did is um, the pickaxe is now one tap. So no matter what kind of block, so if I, if I were to play this like, let me get some fisherman coral. Let me see, fisher uh, coral. There's coral. So I click that. Um, the other thing is you don't have to put a, um, a, a number anymore. Creative mode doesn't take away blocks, but like this right here. Um, so see, it's still in there. I don't have to do infinite anymore, but you can just break that with one shot. It does give you another block, but you can ignore that. So you don't run out of stuff anymore. You have infinite everything. As long as it's in your inventory toolbar here. The other thing you'll notice is that like, if you go to creative inventory, you click these three dots to open your actual inventory. So if you need to move things around, like you need to like be put better tools and such, you can do that. So if I go to tools, I can get all my tools that I want. Um, we'll put that inside there. We'll do the shears, things like that. Although you don't really need that many tools if things are one shot, you know? And I can't break this, see? Can't break it, not yet. Hope they fix that soon. Um, you know what, just for consistency, I'm just gonna put a roof on this because it's kind of weird. That looks better. All right, so we'll get rid of this section here. That looks good. Now we gotta do the same on the other side. So let's get some pearls. There they are, go center. It looks like pearls, you do have to have a quantity. It doesn't look like it works quite as well as I thought. So it looks like you have to have a quantity on that, that's fine. All right, so we're up here, um, similar issue. See, that one broke. It's like certain blocks do break, it's so weird. I hope they fix it soon. It's really wild. It must be an optimization thing that they did and it's kind of breaking the game. There's our window. All right, that should be good. So we got this now. So we'll just fill all this in. Remember, I can't technically break stuff right now, so it's gonna be a little, a little weird. Slash, 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 POS1. And then we'll go over here. And I think I want it like maybe up to, I yeah, will just do it right here. Slash slash POS2. We're gonna set, what kind of block is this? I have a command list, by the way. If you need my command list, I will link it in the description. It has all the commands in it. I'll keep maintaining that too. Okay, it's wood underscore. Okay, so it's slash slash set, wood, plank. There we go. That's pretty cool. A new overhang area so people can come in here and snipe through the windows. We should open this up a little bit more though. We'll open that all the way up like that. Cause it's, it's too hard to see players down here when you're sniping. And then what we're gonna do is this is like an upper area. So you can still do that. You might get shot off. Um, we don't need the shops anymore. So let's go ahead and delete all the shops. I'm gonna show you that real quick. So to do that, you're gonna type in slash shop and you're gonna get the list. So you can see there's um, a series of IDs. Do shop, remove, and then it's gonna be global underscore item underscore shop underscore one for that first one. See that one just removed. Um, the other thing you have a uh, shop, remove global item shop too. This is the other team shop. And then we got to remove the upgrade shops too. So we're going to do slash shop remove two underscore upgrade underscore shop underscore one. Each of these are divided by um, a little comma. So if you're trying to figure out which is which, there's a little comma in between. And we got one more to remove. We don't really need the upgrades, like, I, but I'm probably going to add the upgrade shop anyway. I think it'd be kind of nice to have. Uh, okay, let's remove one upgrade. Okay, so there we go. They're all gone. We're gonna remove these generators in a sec as well. In fact, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we're gonna go gen uh, list and we're gonna remove all the generators. So we're gonna do slash gen remove diamond zero, gen remove diamond one, remove emerald one. These are all globals. We have a couple um, iron generators. These are team generators. Two underscore generators zero. Okay, so you can see it's really dark in here now which is totally fine with me. So 
we're gonna go and close this off so about like right here that way players aren't like getting like spawn camped and such because once you find the arrow angle you can actually do some damage it down here so let's block this off in fact what you could do if you are worried about someone like breaking someone else's bed go spawn magma block and you can just magma the bed in creative mode you're not going to die by the way you can step on it so what we're going to do in here we're going to add some enchantment tables for some lights um but we should get some generator lights by default. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna add a couple um, generators first because what's gonna happen is you're gonna come down here, right? And you wanna pretty much load up on your stuff. So you're gonna spawn up top. Um, in fact, you know what I'll do is I'll put the spawn, I'll put like team spawn in here. I think it's already in here. Um, yeah, let's put team spawn here. So we're gonna do slash, which side are we on? We're on, we're on red team. So we're gonna do right here, we're gonna do set team spawn um, and it's gonna be red right here. And we're gonna do the same for blue in a second, but first we need to get everyone else's um, generator set up. So what we can do here, we're gonna put a couple blocks around here. Let's put, let's use iron blocks. Okay, so we're, we can cover that because it's not gonna, it's not a generator anymore. And then we're gonna put this here. So these are the two item spawns. Um, for here, we're gonna do arrows. So you're gonna type in slash gen, create, and then you can do arrow. And we're gonna do the drop time. The drop time is gonna be, we want arrows like every, I would say 0.5 seconds. And we only need like a stack of like 50 at a time. We don't need to like fill up, fill up, kind of crazy. So there we go. The arrows are dropping pretty nicely. So you're gonna come here, you're gonna fill up your arrows. And we're gonna do a tactical crossbow on this one. Tacticals are cool, dude. So we're gonna do gen create global tactical crossbow. And we're gonna say we want like one of these every like second. And we, only, we don't need that big of a stack, okay? Just put like one because it, it drops anyway. So you can just sit here and, and grab it. So grab your crossbow run. Hopefully that makes sense. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, add a couple other generators here because we do have the um, we have the enchants. We want people to do enchants. So what we're gonna do is um, they don't need any iron, right? Cause you're not buying blocks. You're not buying anything like that. You'd also, I mean, we could add a um, upgrade. So if you wanna be able to give them upgrades, you could do that. I'll go ahead and add it to the map just so people have the choice. For this, I might not give diamonds though. What I'd kind of rather do is like, if you really want to just give everyone diamonds, like give everyone, imp, you know, cause you only need to upgrade once. So we probably won't add a diamond generator. Let's go and uh, spawn emerald block one. I only need one. Um, technically I could just use this thing cause I have it, but we'll put it like right here. And we're gonna do, it's gonna be a global, okay? If you wanted to do an iron generator, by the way, you need to do this. So you go slash gen create. You're going to do a team generator, not a global. You're going to do iron. So this is the type. Um, actually, no, you have to do the team. So if you're doing red team, for example, um, and then if it's red team and then you can do iron and then you do the typical like, okay, drop rates so every second. And then how many stack, you know, you want to do. So if you only want like the typical default 120, you could do that. This is by seconds, by the way, the one. Um, and if you want to make generators go faster, you can still do that with the multiplier. So gen create, it's going to be emerald. So it's going to be a global emerald. And we want like one emerald per like, kind of want one per second. This is pretty fast, by the way. This is like faster than normal. Um, generators for these are really, really fast. You're not going to need that many emeralds. So like 50 is fine. There you go. So you can come up here. That's how fast it'll be. And like I said, you can always set up the generator. So you can go like set generator multiplier. Yeah, see? You can speed it up like usual. All right, so we're gonna put it back to one. Okay, so if you wanted to, like I said, if you wanted to give people like enchants and stuff, just give them um, infinite diamonds. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a shop here. So we need to just go shop, create, upgrade, and we added our upgrade shop. So if you did wanna do diamonds um, and allow people to upgrade, you can. You just have to grant them the diamonds. And let's go, we gotta do the other side. I love that you can one shot blocks now, it's so cool. Um, if you have this issue, like after you place a generator and you can't actually like place blocks, you do have to toggle this again under here where it says ignore build restrictions regions. You have to just toggle that on and off again and it'll work. I learned that the hard way. Okay, so we got it. I mean, the map is looking pretty good. Everything's closed off. Oh, I need to open this up too. But you see, I, I don't know why I can't open it up on this. Like some of them break, some of them don't. It's so weird. I hope the devs can fix that. I'm sure they can. Let's go and block this off. And then we're gonna add a little entrance here, right there. People can get in and out. Um, I also feel like that we need another light source here. So let's go and add an enchant table. That is a great way to be able to get lights in your build. So why don't we put those on our ceiling so it's clear that they're not for function. There's our lights. We could put another light up here. We could put a light in here as well. Put it in the back corners. I see I can't open these. So weird. But at least we added some light. And let's go to the other side. We're gonna do the same thing over there again, and then we're done. So we're gonna go to host panel. We're gonna go to map and we're gonna update map. So we gotta overwrite. 
So unfortunately, after doing this two times in a row, it's still bugged. It's not saving. So be careful with your updates. Uh, if you spend a lot of time on updating your maps, I did let the devs know that there was a bug on this. So we kind of have to start over. So we're going to create a new map instead. All right, so I'm in a different alt. Let's go ahead and try to make a new map. For this one, we're going to do, since we have so much more control now, I kind of want to do like a four player tower map. So let's do Western. So let's go ahead and try like setting some spawn points in a second. Let's first get up there. So let's go ahead and spawn some telepearls. Yeah, this is a perfect sniper map. I mean, you got four towers, you know, total. So we can set position here. So it's POS one, POS two. We're going to type in slash slash set spruce log there we go do the same thing up here this is going to be pos2 all right so we have kind of a shell for this so let's go ahead and put a roof on it now we got a roof right so all we're going to try on this one is we're just going to see if we can save with these new generators so let's go ahead and put like a couple generators back here we'll put like one two and three and then uh this one's going to be the arrows so we're going to do slash Gen, create, it's gonna be a global. We're gonna do arrow, we're gonna do every, let's do it like every half second and we'll do like a hundred stack. And this one's gonna be gen, create, global, tactical crossbow, we're gonna do one and one. And this one here, we're gonna do uh, emeralds. So we're gonna do gen, create, global, emeralds, probably like one and 100 spine. All right, so we got our generators looking pretty good. I'm on blue, so we're gonna do set, team spawn, Blue, right up here and then we're gonna jump off real quick we'll see make sure we respawn up there boy yeah look at that and then we just get our stuff real quick boom 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 and if you want people to be able to upgrade and stuff you can do that um i'll probably move like the the other generators and such like i can get rid of these and all that but first let's go ahead and save i mean i might i'll finish this map later so let's go ahead and save this this is gonna be saved okay temp all right so i think update maps broken right now just as a caution but let's go ahead and go back to bed wars try this map out we're gonna respawn in Boom, look at that, it's working. Except we lost our tactical crossbow generator. How curious, why would we lose that? Okay, so yeah, some things just aren't working correctly right now. Give the devs some time to fix first. Don't know why we lost that, but hey, you know what? It's good progress, it's a good start. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, just a reminder, I will be doing a video on Evelyn. Yes, she's crazy, crazy good right now. She's going to get nerfed. I will be doing a kit review soon, so I'll include her in it. Um, after the nerf, we kind of got to nerf her. She's kind of she's got broken right now, man. She's kind of broken. People are calling people hackers because you can do a complete team wipe with 20 players within, I want to say 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 20 players dead. Yeah, it's broken. Anyway, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Peace.